Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Naama and today I'm going to be reviewing the Mint Sonic slash Sunmay slash Tea Superb facial brush because they're all produced by the same manufacturer. confident in saying that they're produced by the same manufacturer is that they look exactly the same. <laughs> I've watched a lot of reviews on YouTube of all of these other brushes as well and they all have like this V kind of a shape here um, that meets the bottom of it and then also these inlaid flower patterns and then the same kind of texture and pattern on the back. The only thing that differs between all of them is that the Sunmay comes with a pouch. So get that. I wish this came with a pouch. Honestly, that's good and that when you go to Amazon or whatever to buy it, that's where I got this. Um, you can pick the cheapest one and know in your heart of hearts that it's alright because it's the same brush. It's the same brush. But like I said, go for the one with the pouch. It also has more color options, so do that too because that's fun. But yeah, I got this for Christmas. So I've had this for about five months now, which is kind of crazy. Um, when you get it, it comes with a brush, a little instruction manual, and a cord for charging. And so it has a charging port at the bottom. And um, when it's charging, it flashes blue. And then when it's done charging, it just holds the blue light. Yeah, but since I've gotten it, I charged it when I first got it. And then since then, and like I said, it's been five months, I've only charged it once. And it wasn't even because it died on me. It was just because I was like, it's been a minute since I've charged this. So it holds charge for a long time. Though I will say after I charged it, that's when I realized actually how much weaker it had become. So even though I had only charged it once in that period, I don't recommend that you do that. I recommend that you try to charge it at least once every month just to make sure that you're getting all the power that you want, that you need from it. So the front side has like these soft, smaller bristles and the back of it have like larger, denser ones. Um, I know people like to use the back for like rolling in serums into their faces. Also people who have maybe a little less sensitive skin than I do like to use this back for exfoliating and kind of um, giving the skin a deep cleanse. I only use the front. And at the tip, there are these denser, harder bristles that are more than enough for me if I want just a little bit of more, uh, I guess, scrubbing power. <laughs> now, I did have a little bit of a learning curve when I started using this. So when I incorporated using this in my skincare routine was after a really big breakout that I had. And so at that point, I had a very, very simple skincare routine that was just my CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser, the accompanying CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion, and then sunscreen. Like that was all that I was doing in the mornings. And then in the afternoons, I had like an oil cleanser from Hadalaba. Check out the review for that up here. But that was my very simple stripped down skincare routine. And when I incorporated this into my skincare routine, with just those products, I was able to notice, oh, there's a difference here. Like my skin is softer. Like it feels, it feels good. But there was a little bit of a learning curve with this. Um, after using it for a while, I started noticing that around my eyes, I was getting these bumps that I never had before. I suspected that this brush was responsible. I stopped using it and sure enough, those bumps went away. I was in the habit of trying to help this brush along by applying a little bit more pressure than I should have. But really, you should just really trust that the bristles and the vibrations are doing what they need to do to clean your skin. You really don't have to do anything more than softly drag it across your face. If you want a deeper clean, then just increase the intensity. Don't increase the pressure. And even now when I use it, well, I'm not using it now because I'm on different and I'm trying to be very careful with my skin. I don't want to irritate it. But um, when I was using it, so like last week, um, I was avoiding my eyes. I just keep it really centralized on my cheeks, on my chin, on my, yeah, on my other cheeks. <laughs> 
and then I'll go in with my hands and then kind of swoosh it around a little bit before I wash off my face. This brush has 15 power settings. You can increase it and decrease it based on however you feel. Every time you turn it on, it resets to like whatever the middle setting is. When I turn it on, I tend to do, I think like two to three um, pluses and then use it on my face. So overall, my experiences with this brush have been mainly positive. I do worry a little bit, you know, about my skin being a little sensitive from the eyes, but that's really the only concern that I have. And I have taught myself how to use it in a way that is better. And like I said, right now I'm not using it because I'm incorporating different into my skincare routine and I don't want to aggravate my skin. But when I reintroduce it back into my skincare routine, I'll let you know how that combination is going and I'll just give you an update on that if you'd like it. Let me know. For the most part, pretty positive reviews on my side. I wonder if the bristles for the Ferreo, for the, like the sensitive one, are softer than this. But I don't know, I've never felt a Ferreo. But these seem pretty soft. So, and the silicone, the fact that it's also made of silicone is amazing. I um, clean it with soap and water and leave it out to dry. And I don't have to worry about growing cultures <laughs> on it. So that is my review for someone who has oily combination skin, that um, is acne prone and you know kind of moody my skin's moody is, is what I would say um, but I also did buy this for my sister and I bought it yeah I bought it for her for Christmas I got it for Christmas and I bought one for her for Christmas and she really likes it and she's never had really issues with acne and her skin isn't particularly sensitive and she's never had any issues with it and actually loves it a lot so um, this is my perspective as someone who has probably a little bit more sensitive skin than her. And then she's, I would say that she just has like normal skin. And she is pleased as punch about it. So that was my review of the Mint Sonic Facial Brush. Let me know what you thought of the Mint Sonic, if you have it yourself or any kind of um, iteration of it. All these other Ferreo dupes, these all these fun skincare goodies and brushes. Is there anything else I want to add? I don't think so. Yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And as always, please subscribe. I hope to see you back here soon. Bye.